Genesis chapter 39. Yosef was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard, an Egyptian, brought him from the Yishmaelim who had brought him there. Adonai was with Yosef, and he became wealthy while he was in the household of his master, the Egyptian. His master saw how Adonai was with him, that Adonai prospered everything he did. Yosef pleased him as he served him, and his master anointed him, manager of his household. He entrusted all his possessions to Yosef. From the time he appointed him manager of his household and all his possessions, Adonai blessed the Egyptian's household for Yosef's sake. Adonai's blessing was on all he owned, whether in the house or in the field, so he left all his possessions to Yosef's care, and because he had him, he paid no attention to his affairs except for the food he ate. Now Yosef was well built and handsome as well. In time, the day came when his master's wife took a look at Yosef and said, Sleep with me. But he refused, saying to his master's wife, Look, because my master has me, he doesn't know what's going on in his house. He has put all his possessions in my charge. In this house, I am his equal. He hasn't withheld anything from me except yourself, because you are his wife. How then could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? But she kept pressing him day after day. Nevertheless, he didn't listen to her. He refused to sleep with her or even be with her. However, one day when he went into the house to do his work and none of the men living in the house was there indoors, she grabbed him by his robe and said, Sleep with me. But he fled, leaving his robe in her hand and got himself outside. When she saw that he had left his robe in her hand and had escaped, she called the men of her house and said to them, Look at this. My husband brought in a Hebrew to make fools of us. He came in and wanted to sleep with me, but I yelled out loudly. When he heard me yelling like that, he left his robe with me and ran out. She put the robe aside until his master came home. Then she said to him, This, he this Hebrew slave you brought us came in to make a fool of me. But when I yelled out, he left his robe with me and fled outside. When his master heard what his wife said as she showed him, here's what your slave did to me, he became furious. Yosef's master took him and put him in prison in the place where the king's prisoners were kept, and there he was in the prison. But Adonai was with Yosef, showing him grace and giving him favor in the sight of the prison warden. The prison warden made Yosef supervisor of all the prisoners in the prison, so that whatever they did there, he was in charge of it. The prison warden paid no attention to anything Yosef did because Adonai was with him, and whatever he did, Adonai prospered.